Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. It's a new television season, so I've got a bunch of shows that uh, I've been watching and I'm going to talk about a little bit. Today, uh, I want to talk about a new uh, show called Blind Spot. It's got Jamie Alexander in it, who a lot of people probably know best at this point from playing Sif in the Thor movies and an episode or two of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, the really uh, funny thing about this new series is that it uh, seems to mirror a whole lot of the last episode that uh, her Sif character was in, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, basically, uh, Jamie Alexander plays this character uh, in Blind Spot that comes out of a duffel bag in uh, Times Square, covered in tattoos with absolutely no memory of who she was. She can still talk, she can still understand people, but she has no personal memories whatsoever. Uh, completely functional, just no memory. Which is exactly what happened in uh, an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with Sif. She showed up, she had no memory of who she was. There's not that much difference in Blind Spot, except she's covered in tattoos and shows up mostly naked. There, there's a lot more drama in Blind Spot than there was in the episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and it does look like they'll be able to pull this out. Uh, and have it uh, go for at least a whole season. Uh, looks like they've only got six episodes listed right now. But it's a good crime drama. It's a good mystery. It's It's got some similar flavor to uh, the old show John Doe, where you had a guy who had no memory of his past, but had all of this other encyclopedic knowledge in his head. That show got canceled after a uh, season, just when it was starting to get good. Hopefully this uh, blind spot won't. The the, pre the premiere episode is uh, pretty solid for a first episode. Uh, it's got good action in it. It's got uh, some really solid uh, acting in it uh, from Jamie Alexander, uh, playing this person that when you ask her, hey, are you okay? The answer is, I really don't have a baseline to work off of. I don't know if I'm okay. <laughs> it's uh, played very, very well, and her reactions to being able to do this stuff, uh, like take on two violent people without a uh, with, with barely breaking a sweat, um, her reaction after that happens is pretty much what I would expect to see from someone who doesn't understand how they just did that amazing thing they just did. Uh, so her acting talents are really going to uh, work out well in this. If they keep the plot uh, tight and quick and sharp, uh, it should also be very good. Uh, it looks like they've set up a very solid mystery about why she has these tattoos, how she got them, why they look like they're going to be predicting uh, crimes and other major events going on, uh, which I guess is a common theme this season, as Minority Report also has the whole psychic prediction of crimes. This is better than Minority Report, um, at least the series, so that's good news. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one because I uh, am a bit of a fan of, of Jamie Alexander from what I've seen of her other work, especially Thor. Um, Sullivan Stapleton, uh, the Australian actor who's playing the uh, lead FBI guy in this, I can't say I've really uh, seen him in much of anything because it seems he's mostly done Australian shows, but he seems pretty solid. It's going to be an interesting dynamic between the two of them. Um, as she is playing a character that's kind of emotional because, well, stressed out about not having a past, not knowing who she is, anything along those lines. And he's a no-nonsense, uh, take charge, not very emotional FBI, uh, super agent who's, um, uh, probably has some skeletons in his own closet when it comes to previous relationships. Hopefully they won't uh, dip too far into romantic territory with it. That's an old trope that uh, gets worse every time it gets used, it seems. But we'll see. 
Uh, we'll see where they go with the plot, what kind of different uh, things they tie into, uh, into these tattoos. I, I hope they uh, pay attention to their continuity and keep the uh, tattoos really consistent. Uh, I can already tell from looking at some of the promo shots, um, there's huge differences in the tattoos from the uh, pre-release stuff they did to the stuff they used in the, uh, in the actual series. Uh, the whole back tattoo uh, where um, Kurt Weller's, uh, the FBI agent Kurt Weller's name is, uh, is completely different in the original promo stuff than it is in the, uh, in the actual series. So that's, uh, you know, interesting to see. Uh, they managed to keep tattoos really consistent on Prison Break, and that was another set of full-body uh, complex uh, tattoos that they had on Wentworth, Wentworth Miller in that. Uh, so I have faith that the makeup department can, can handle that. Um, it's just a question of whether they continue to put the work in to make sure that uh, whenever you see the bulk of the tattoos out there that they are consistent, because in this day and age... People are going to notice. People are going to be looking online, especially since these tattoos are all over Jamie Alexander's body. People are going to be looking at that. The show is good. Uh, check it out. Uh, if you have checked it out, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Uh, I'm happy to talk about this show. Um, I enjoyed this one. I'm expecting that it'll last at least a season with no problem. Um, if it gets going really well, it may be good for two or three. Uh... But definitely uh, give it a shot. Uh, if nothing else, you'll get to see uh, Jamie Alexander kick a little bit more ass. So that's it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the uh, thumbs up down there, the little like button. Uh, if you want to be notified every time a new one of these goes up, hit the subscription button also down there. And then hit the gear Um that pops up after you're subscribed and turn on email notifications. That way YouTube will send you an email every time a new one of these gets published. Uh, and if there's anyone else out there that you uh, think would be interested in, in hearing me uh, jabber on about TV shows and other things that will be coming up, uh, share this with them. Uh, get it out there in the world. So I'm Kier. Uh, that's it for today. And uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow.